so you've clicked this video maybe because you wanted to be disappointed maybe you're just curious to see where this goes but i'm here to let you know i'm gonna deliver on that promise because this video is intended to more or less be for my eyes only it's gonna be public but i'm just gonna be talking about my goals for this channel it's a little bit different than some might expect all I really want to do with this channel is improve, use it as documentation for myself. One thing I've noticed is even though it's only like very minimal amount of views, just, you know, posting random videos so far, just general self-improvement kind of things and seeing that there is an interest in it and seeing that I can get those views. Like I, I thought it would take a lot longer for anyone to start watching my stuff. I didn't think within... I don't know, maybe a week it's been since I started making videos that I would even get a single view. And so far, I've 10 times that single view and it's inspiring. And I don't know who my target audience is because no one sticks around to the end of any of my videos. And so th there's a few things that I do want to improve on that I know will help my channel. One, I got to start learning how to make thumbnails. Two, I got to learn how to talk more concisely articulate my ideas better because so far they've just been rant videos just me gurgling out information and just letting my mind wander wherever it is but to me that's not always a weakness i think sometimes it is a strength that i can just ramble and ramble and ramble and just seemingly never run out of things to talk although it's not always the most coherent, which is something I do want to work on, whether that be in the form of writing scripts or or just planning out what kind of videos I want to make. Because usually the way I've been making these videos is just I come up with a topic on the spur of the moment. I sit down in my car and I I make a video for however long my brain wants to keep talking for. And that's something I know is hurting me in the long run. I don't know if anyone actually likes that form of content. Maybe they just haven't found my videos yet. And, well, I don't have a lot to go off of. And right now, I don't have the best background, environment. I don't have the best quality mic, as I've already shared. I don't know if anyone's even heard that I've just been using my headphone mic. And that's why in every single video, I'm wearing these headphones. But I do want to make more quality videos. I want to learn how to edit my videos better, maybe color grade eventually, you know, make cuts instead of these long form, well, long form, these rant style videos and just get across my main points, make them more interesting, more engaging, maybe add in some editing, some cartoon effects. I don't know, something to make my videos more engaging because so far you're coming to see this guy who you don't even know talk about things that are maybe relevant to you, but in a while that doesn't hold your attention because I know social media has destroyed everybody's attention span. And it's sad, but the reality is if I want to be successful on this platform, I need to change and conform what I do to the market. The market is what controls the demand. I have to supply that demand if I want to be successful. That's like one of the first laws of business is supply and demand. If there's no demand for it and you have a bunch of supply, you're just going to be sitting on an egg and nothing's going to happen with it. It's going to hatch or it's going to rot first. But if you have something that's super in demand, you're not going to have a whole lot of supply. You're not going to have enough content for people to gobble up fast enough. Take example, all these millions of subscriber channels getting hundreds of thousands of views. It's really disproportionate to the amount of subscribers they have. But these are people who have found their content in the past very interesting in that most of these people are repeat viewers. They're not random people who just found this by mistake. In the case of viral videos, that is the opposite, where a bunch of people found it maybe by mistake or by referral. But that video happened to be in high demand at the time, whether it was for comedic relief, for inspiration, or even just like a tutorial or how-to. On Valentine's Day, the, one of the top Amazon searches, when you just start typing anything or just click on the box, it gives you a drop down of trending searches. Guess what was on there? 
pregnancy tests. Well, now, why in the world would pregnancy tests be highly searched around Valentine's Day? I'm sure everyone has a wild guess, but the point I'm trying to make is if I want to be successful, even within this self-improvement space, I'm not doing anything new. In fact, I'm beating a dead horse that a hundred people before me have beat off. That was a bad phrasing. I might take that out later. Who knows? Maybe I'll leave it in to be a little bit more authentic. Point being, I need to do something different. And what I think sets me apart is my ability to just keep talking. That's something I've always been good at. It's just talk and talk and talk. Always been called the jabber, the jabber guy, the gift of gab guy. Either way, this is more or less just a video for me to reference in the future when I want to know what I should be doing in regards to this channel. I'm just going to come back and refer to this video. So if you've been disappointed, let me know. I don't know. I've never asked for engagement before. What did you find most disappointing about this video? It's kind of late to be asking this question, but if you somehow made it to the end of this, let me know what was most disappointing. Were you expecting a video that was just clickbait where I was promising disappointment and it was actually the complete opposite. It was really entertaining for you. Let me know what you found most disappointing in this video.